Welcome to our informative video where we'll be comparing two popular painting tools, the airbrush and the paintbrush. Both of these tools have their unique characteristics and advantages, and today we will explore the differences between them to help you make an informed decision for your painting needs. So, let's dive into the world of airbrushing and paintbrushes and see which one is the right choice for you. Now, let's start the video. Airbrushing is a technique that utilizes compressed air to spray paint onto a surface. It offers precise control over the paint flow and can create smooth, even layers of paint. Airbrushes come in different types, including single action and dual action, offering varying levels of control and versatility. Paint brushes have been the traditional choice for painters for centuries. They come in various sizes and shapes, with bristles made from natural or synthetic materials. Paint brushes provide a more tactile and hands-on approach to painting, allowing for detailed brush strokes and texture. When it comes to precision and control, airbrushes have the upper hand. The adjustable air pressure and paint flow allow for fine detailing and smooth gradients. Airbrushes excel in achieving sharp lines, smooth fades, and integrate details, making them ideal for realistic and highly detailed artwork. Paint brushes, on the other hand, require more skill and practice to achieve the same level of precision. However, they offer more control over brush strokes, allowing for varied textures and expressive marks. In terms of speed and efficiency, airbrushing takes the lead. Airbrushes can cover large areas quickly and evenly, making them efficient for projects that require a smooth, consistent finish. With the ability to adjust the paint flow and coverage, airbrushes allow for the faster completion of complex designs and larger-scale projects. Paintbrushes, on the other hand, require more time and effort to coverage, especially when working on larger surfaces. Both airbrushes and paintbrushes offer versatility in terms of the effects they can achieve. Airbrushes are known for their ability to create gradients, soft edges, and smooth blends. They can also be used for techniques like stenciling and masking. Paintbrushes, on the other hand, offer a wide range of brush types and textures, allowing for more expansive and textured effects. From board washes to fine details, paintbrushes offer a diverse range of artistic possibilities. Airbrushing typically has a steeper learning curve compared to using paintbrushes. Mastering airbrush techniques such as controlling air pressure, paint flow, and maintaining consistent strokes requires practice and patience. Paintbrushes while also require skill and more accessible to beginners and allow for gradual improvements over time. With patience, artists can develop their own unique style and achieve impressive results with paintbrushes. Airbrushes require true cleaning and maintenance after each use. Dissembling the airbrush, cleaning the components, and ensuring proper paint consistency are necessary steps to maintain its performance. Paintbrushes also require cleaning, but the process is generally simpler, involving rinsing the brushes and removing excess paint. Paintbrushes can be easily stored and reused with proper care. When considering the cost, it's important to note that airbrushing can be initially more expensive. Airbrush kits typically include the airbrush itself, an air compressor, and additional accessories. The quality and features of the airbrush and compressor can significantly affect the price. On the other hand, paintbrushes are generally more affordable with a wide range of options available at different price points. The cost of paintbrushes primarily depends on the materials and quality of the bristles. It's worth mentioning that airbrushing also requires additional expenses for airbrush paints cleaning solutions and maintenance supplies. These ongoing costs should be taken into account when considering the overall investment in airbrushing. Both airbrushing and paintbrushes have their distinct advantages and are suited for different painting applications. Airbrushing offers precision, control and efficiency, making it an excellent choice for detailed artwork, realistic illustrations and large-scale projects. It excels in achieving smooth gradients and fine details. However, it has a steeper learning curve and can be more expensive initially. On the other hand, paintbrushes provide tactile control, versatility in brush strokes, and a wide range of textures. They are ideal for traditional painting techniques, expressive artworks, and smaller projects. Paintbrushes are generally more accessible to beginners and offer a gradual leaning curve. Ultimately, the choice between airbrushing and paintbrushes depends on your specific needs, artistic preferences, and budget. 
consider the level of precision, desired effects, project size, and your willingness to invest the time and resources in mastering the technique. Many artists find value in having both tools in their arsenal, using them interchangeably based on the project requirements. Experimenting with both air brushing and paint brushes will provide you with a well-rounded skill set and the ability to choose the most suitable tool for each artistic endeavor. So, embrace the versatility of paint brushes and the precision of air brushing and let your creativity flourish in whichever medium you choose. Thank you for joining us in this comparison of air brushing versus paint brushes. We hope this information has helped you gain insights into the characteristics and considerations of these two painting tools. Happy creating!